night was a long night with severe thunderstorms rubbling throughout the region and several of you have sent some fantastic pictures into the weather center this evening. So our first picture is from Jace McDonald. We had some pretty ferocious lightning in and around Lima last night and captured this fantastic picture of this lightning bolt in the sky. But those storms also brought a lot of damage. TJ Hubbard with the Bell Fountain Examiner graciously shared this picture of a large tree falling on a house in Bell fountain and we received even more reports of damage look at this tree practically ripped off from the bark that is a large tree that crashed down in uh, the east side of lima samantha ariel miller sent in this picture and then these Storms also damaged vehicles as well. A large tree dented a truck in Lima. Laura Ulrich sent in this picture. We zoom in, you can see the damage right there on the bed of that truck. And this truck received major damage near Lima. Jen Guti sent in this picture of the truck bed practically nearly damaged to even practically destroyed at that point with as the storms moved through. So thank you so much for sending in these pictures. It was quite a long night last night. As we look at what happened, we can see that as we as the radar route loops back at the beginning, we actually had severe thunderstorms, two clusters forming in Wisconsin, Illinois. They dove southeast or throughout the area between roughly between 2.30 a.m. to about 5.15, moving from west to east throughout the region. As they did so, they brought lots of reports of wind damage. And I just receive the confirmation that there has been an EF0 tornado confirmed in Defiance County. I'll get those details out later on with the final report. But as we look at the radar now, completely different story than what we had this morning. Very few clouds and just really a sprinkle here and there if you're lucky. Today's Almanac 82 for the high, 76 for the lows this morning. So far precipitation is unknown because we are missing some data from the airport. Current temperatures are so mild, 82 in Lima, 85 upper Sandusky. Those dew points are are still up there, 68 in Lima and Wapak. But those dew points will be coming down over the next couple days. Look at the dew points coming from Canada. They'll drop into the 50s and then possibly even the 40s by Monday morning. So that's going to be a nice refreshing change. So as we look at Skycast, really the same can be expected for the next 36 to 48 hours as, as dry air really comes into the area with partly clear skies to partly sunny skies throughout the area. One thing to mention, can't completely rule out some fog as we get closer to sunrise. Any fog will likely break up and burn off by 9 or 10 in the morning tomorrow morning. Looking at seven-day forecast, A-plus weather is in store for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Low humidity, great late July and then now early August weather. Can't believe it's almost August. 80 Monday, 81 Tuesday, 82 on Wednesday. Turning more humid by Thursday with our next chance of thunderstorms. Sartage.